I just uh, saw you sitting here uh, in the shopping area in North London and you said, I asked you your name and, you, and I also asked you whether you're okay to be filmed. You said you agreed and you said your name is Martin, is that correct? That's right, yes. Okay, and Martin, you're from, what, your accent sounds as if you're from South Africa, is that right? That's right, yes. Okay. Durban. Durban in South Africa. So do, have you moved to London have you, are you, or are you just visiting? I'm just visiting my wife. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, right. Uh, I've just seen you sitting here. What I would say to you, Martin, and uh, uh, you're a Christian, is that right? That's right. I am a Christian. Okay. And which denomination of Christianity are you? Catholic or Church of England or Protestant? Methodist. Methodist. Can I ask you a question, uh, please, Martin? Do you believe Jesus is God or do you believe Jesus was somebody sent by God? I believe Jesus was sent by God, uh, by somebody. Okay. The thing is, Martin, what I would say to you is, if you believe that Jesus was somebody sent by God, then really, there's only one religion which says that, and that's the Muslim religion. The Muslim religion says that Jesus was somebody sent by God with a message, and therefore he's a messenger of God. That's right, yes. That's right, I believe that. Do you believe that he's a messenger of God? Yes. Then really, you're much, you're much closer to Islam than Christianity. What I would say to you, Martin, is can you also accept that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a messenger of God? I, look, I believe anybody who does good is sent by God. Any Christian, any nomination, if he does something for mankind, he's sent by God. That's how I believe. No, but is he actually, almighty, has Almighty God sent Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a messenger to mankind? Is he a prophet of Almighty God, like Moses and Abraham and Noah and David and Solomon and Joseph and Jacob and Jesus were prophets of God? That's the question, my friend. That's, that right. Uh, uh, that's right. So do you believe that Muhammad is like one of these prophets of God? I do, yes. Then really you are a Muslim. Uh, well, I don't know if I'm a Muslim, but I believe in Christianity and if that's a part of Muslim, I will believe in that as well. In that case, what I would suggest, if you believe in that, my friend, I would suggest that you need to confirm this by saying, if you don't mind me saying this, is you have to confirm by saying, I bear witness that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah, we use the word Allah for God, we believe Allah is God's name, and I would suggest you need to say, and I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his servant and messenger, just like Jesus, Moses, Abraham were messengers. And if you believe in this, Martin, then you're guaranteed to go into paradise, my friend. And this is what Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says. This is what the Quran says. Okay, Martin? And also, this is something that's taught in the Bible. The Bible says that that we need to worship God alone and that we, not, we shouldn't make any partners with God. God has no father, mother, brother, sister, son, daughter or, or anybody else and that God alone should be worshipped. This is the message in the Quran and this is the message also in the Bible. But today's Christianity, Martin, has made Jesus into God by saying God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit which is something you don't believe in. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so really, you're a Muslim, my friend. So you should say the words and you will be guaranteed paradise. I guarantee you life is going to change. Uh, if it's not too rude a question, Martin, can I ask how old you are, please? 60, uh, 67. 67. At any age, if you say these words, my friend, you are going to go into paradise one day because you will be a true follower of Abraham and Moses and Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Because Jesus was a Muslim. The word Islam means to submit to Almighty God. A Muslim, Martin, is a submitter to Almighty God. And Jesus says, sorry, there's a police car going past, so we'll hold on. Okay, they're a noisy police car. Uh, it's turned away, so we can't see it. Uh, okay. So the thing is, my friend, that Islam means submit to Almighty God. A Muslim is a submitter. 
okay? And Jesus himself in the Bible says that he submitted his will to the will of God. In the biblical language, he submitted his will to the will of the Father. So Jesus was also a Muslim. Now, if you look in the Bible, Jesus went into the Garden of Gethsemane and put his face on the ground or his head on the ground and prayed to God. Who prays like Jesus today? Uh, Muslims. Yeah. And if you saw Mary, the mother of Jesus, walking down the street today here in North London, in Kilburn, North London, what religion would you think she was? She would have her head covered, she would have loose clothes on, as we see on Christmas cards and on painting, uh, sorry, and, on, and in paintings. What religion would you think Mary was? Muslim. Yeah. Okay, so you can see they were Muslims. Jesus never ate pork, the Bible says. Jesus ate kosher food, which is the same as halal food, Martin. The reason I have a beard is not because I like beards, but because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, it's a sunnah, it's the way of every single prophet of Amen to God. Abraham and Moses and David and Solomon and Joseph Jacob, all the prophets of Almighty God, peace be upon them all, including Jesus, peace be upon him, had a beard. And Jesus fasted, and Muslims fast the same way Jesus fasted. Jesus uh, never ate pork and he ate kosher food which is the same as halal food so you can see he was a Muslim yeah. can you see that that's right yes okay. so are you ready to say the words my friend look I believe what you say in that but I can't change my religion okay right the thing is Martin what your belief you are not changing your belief your belief is already that there is one God yeah. correct that's right so you're not changing your belief about that. Yeah. Secondly, your belief is already that Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and Muhammad, just to name four of them, are also prophets or messengers of Almighty God. Is that correct? That's right. That's, that's what you're believing in. Yeah. So you're already a Muslim. Okay. And let me just tell you what the words are. You say, my friend, I bear witness. And there is nothing, let me tell you firstly, I bear witness. Are you, by the way, are you happy with the word Allah for God? Um, I, I am, yes. Okay, you say, I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is nothing worthy of worship. Nothing worthy of worship. Except Allah. Uh, except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. And Muhammad. Is his prophet and messenger. His prophet and his messenger. And his prophet and messenger. And his prophet and his messenger. Okay. Now, you would say the words again in, in Arabic, my friend. You say, Ash, Ash, Hadu, Hadu, An, An, La, La, Ilaha, Ila, La, Ilaha, Ila, La, No, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illallah, Ila, La, Illallah, Ila, La. Okay. Wa, Wa, Ash, Ash. Hadu, Alu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Anandan, Muhammadan, Ahamandan, one second, Muhammadan, Ahamandan, no, Mohammadan, Mohammadan, Abduhu, Abadu, Abadu, who, who, were, were, Rasul, Wazul, Lahu, Alu, Lahu, Alu, Ah, Ah, La ru, la hu. That's right. Okay. If we repeat the words in English again, my friend, Martin. No, don't worry. No? You're happy with that? Yeah. Your congratulations, you're a Muslim. You are going, you are guaranteed one day to go into paradise, my friend. And one day you're going to be with Jesus and Moses and Abraham and Muhammad, peace be upon all the prophets of Almighty God. And the proof of all of this, my friend, it makes sense, which is why you were happy to accept it, because it made sense to you, is that correct? That's right, yes. Okay, however, the proof of this is a book called the Quran. Okay. This is the proof, my friend. Here, I've got one here. There's a, a, the proof of all of this is the book called the Quran. Just like Jesus brought the dead back to life, with God's power just like Jesus cured the leper with God's power just like Jesus cured the blind with God's power God sent another prophet after Jesus peace be upon him and his name was Muhammad peace be upon him and he was given the proof of the miracle of the Quran 
The Quran is the proof, my friend, that there is, that there is one God, that Muhammad is his final messenger, his final prophet of Almighty God. Sorry, I just want to see my brother-in-law. He's not here yet. Okay, and also, the Quran is the proof that Islam is true. Okay, have you had a chance, to opportunity to look at the Quran? No, I haven't. No. Okay, I'll give you a translation of the Quran, my friend. Okay, this is just free. It's it's for you. It's a present for you. Okay, and also. And there's a leaflet here which I think you've already got about the evidence that the Quran is a miracle. The Quran is a miracle, Martin, for a number of reasons. Okay, and the reasons are written here. Okay. okay. But your belief was already Islam because you lived amongst Muslims in Durban, is that right? No, I worked with some. Okay. And you could see they were good people, is that right? That's right, yes. Okay. okay. And your beliefs had already over the years changed really Islam. Okay. Although you were calling yourself a Christian, you'd already started accepting that God is one, and you uh, and also that Muhammad and Jesus are messengers of God. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. So really, your beliefs had changed to Islam because your beliefs were Muslim. Okay. Uh, I never realized that. You never realized that. Alhamdulillah, you're a Muslim now. Okay. You happy with that? Yeah. Congratulations, and you are promised paradise. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, anyone who says those words, believe them to be true, they're guaranteed to go into paradise one day. Okay, okay? and that's the purpose of our life, my friend. Okay, okay, thank you. okay, okay. Congratulations again. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. I'll give you. I'll give you an embrace. God bless. God bless. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. <laughs> Salamu alaikum. Salam alaikum. Okay. Well done, well done, well done. Okay. I would just I would like you to meet the other brothers here if you could just hang on two minutes.